Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rochelle from Rochelle Handmade Designs and in this video we are doing a Simplicity Early Spring 2022 pattern haul. Now before we get started, go ahead and hit the like button and the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. So without further ado, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and go over to the actual sewing table or the cutting table and show you what I picked up. So let's go ahead and go over to the sewing table because I don't know when's the last time I did a pattern haul, but I tend to do one when we get new patterns out. So without further ado, let's go ahead and go over to the cutting table so I can show you what I picked up. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the patterns that I picked up from Joann's today. So I literally just got back from Joann's today picking up patterns and I picked up a total of 15. These are all from spring, early spring 2022 patterns. So let's get right on into it. So the first one I picked up is Mimi G Simplicity 9463. I picked it up for view B. Now on the back of the pattern, it says that it's a misted shirt dress with belt but what it is, is it's a mini dress with front and back yokes. It has body darts. It has a wide front placket as well. It has pocket details. It has a belt. It has top stitching on the bands and sleeves and skirt hem. And then view A has uh, the same features with the above the knee skirt. And it also has like a back slit right here on view A. And then on view B, it looked like it has like a flutter skirt and both of them has a uh, belt detailed as well. Now the fabric options that you can use is denim, linen, poplin, rayon, sateen, shirting, and twill fabric. And just know that for the notions, you're going to need 13 5 8 inch buttons and you also need one two inch buckle. So when I get around to doing this dress, I am planning on doing view B. The next pattern that I picked up is Simplicity 9464. This is a 1940s vintage pattern. It is also easy to sew. And this is a vintage 1940s dress. It has collarless neckline like you see on view A that can be made sweetheart or square shape, which the square shape is view B as well. View A has gathered skirt finished with a ruffle and self tie belt. Whereas view B features a applied trim both views also features the short sleeve pleated at the bottom of the uh, skirt and the um, shirt itself. And then on view A, it looks like it has a ruffle at the bottom and I like that detail. So whenever I get around to this pattern, I plan on doing view A, like I said, it's easy to sew. And some of the fabrics that you can use for this pattern is cotton, poplin, rayon crepes, and a PK, I think it's called PK or PQ. If you know how to actually pronounce the fabric, just leave it in the description box below. Also for the notions, you will need four 5 8 inch buttons, eight snaps, a package of half inch wide single fold bias tape, and then you need some sleeve stiffening, which is optional, 1 8 yard of 35 inch wide muslin. I'm not sure what that's for, but I would probably use the wide uh, organza, and I, I'm pretty sure it's for A to make it uh, fuller. Not sure, it is for view A. And then for view B, you need two yards of one and one fourth inch wide embroidered beading um, and three yards of one inch wide embroidered edging as well as some ribbons. So, and the ribbons goes on the sleeve. So that's what you would need. I'm also putting up the um, pattern back the back of the pattern so you can see all these details as well of which you will need but this is simplicity 9464 the next pattern that i picked up is simplicity 9464 now i plan on doing two versions of this so i plan on doing view b but make it extended into a dress but i also want to do view c now view b the reason why i want to do view b is because of the collar and then view c is just a neck band so that's why i want to do both of them one in a solid and one probably in a print is probably what i will do now this doesn't say if it's an easy to sew pattern or not but on the back of the pattern, it says it's a Mrs. Top. The fabric options are a Shally, a Charmuse, 
a cotton lawn, a batiste, a lightweight cotton blend, a dotted Swiss, a shirting fabric, and then you can use silky prints as well. The notions that you will need for view A, you need 11 half inch buttons, view B and C, you need 15 half inch buttons, and then view D, you need seven half inch buttons and one pack of a half inch wide single fold bias tape. Now, according to Simplicity website, it is a button front blouse in two lengths. It have options for full sleeves and extended cuffs. It has shirt sleeves and shirtless as well, which the shirtless is view D, and all have front and back yoke with and without ruffles. Um, and you, you could do ruffles if you would like, which is basically that bottom portion of the blouse. But this is Simplicity 9467. The next pattern that I picked up is Simplicity 9468. This is the easy to sew jacket. Um, on the back of the pattern, it says it's a Mrs. Unlined jacket. The fabric options is linen, cotton, chambray, denim, rayon, double gauze, and poplin. The notions that you will need is just thread. And then if you do view A, C, or D, you need one one inch, one and one, one inch to one and one eighth inch of a button. Now, according to Simplicity website, it's a relaxed unlined jacket in two lengths. It has drop shoulders, patch pockets, sleeve bands, back slit, and then you could choose from the two shawl collar options or collar collarless views that you see. Now, the two collarless views is view A and D. The shawl collar option would be view B or C. Now, when I get around to this pattern, I plan on doing view B on the pattern. Um, and that's the view that I am interested in doing when I get around to this pattern, but it's Simplicity 9468. And the next one is Simplicity 9469. This is the easy to sew pattern. This is a pullover top and tunic or hip length features V shape and cut out neckline like you see on view D with self ties. It's three quarters and elbow length sleeves. It gathers to it gathers to Alaska elastic. So you have the elastic options on all views as well. View B, it has waistline elastic, which is right here on view B. It's creating peplum look is what it does when, with that elastic at the waist, according to Simplicity website. Now on the back of the envelope, it says it's a Mrs. Top, the fabric used for the pattern, the, the fabrics you can use for this pattern is lawn, chambray, rayon, silky type, soft cottons as well. The notions that you will use for this pattern for view A and B, you would need a pack of a half inch wide double fold bias tape, elastic, which is three eighths of a inch wide elastic, but you need seven eighths of a yard for that as well. And then if you do A and D, you need two yards of um, three eighths inch wide elastic. And for view B, you need one yard of elastic as well. So this is Simplicity 9469. And when I get around to this pattern, I plan on doing um, view A, but wanna do it in a dress. But then I also plan on doing view B, the peplum, and extending the peplum down just a little bit further than where, where it is right now. But those are the two views that I'm interested in doing when I get around to this pattern. Next pattern is Simplicity 9470. Now, according to Simplicity website, it is a peplum top. It have options for self draft pleats or inverted pleats. It has sleeves are in three lengths with invisible back zipper closure. Now, for me, the reason why I picked up this pattern is because I like view B. However, I need stuff with longer sleeves, so I plan on doing view A, possibly view B, I'm not sure yet. Now this looks like an easy to sew pattern, but it does not say that on the website or on the pattern. On the back of the envelope, it says it's a Mrs. Top. The fabrics that you can use is a chalet, a crepe, a double Georgette, a silky print as well. The notions, you can also use a knit, a soft cotton blend as well. And then the notions that you will need is just basically your coordinating thread and one 22 inch invisible zipper. But once again, this is Simplicity 9470. The next pattern is Simplicity 9471. According to the website, it is, it is a cropped pants with front zipper and elastic back waistband, which I've been looking for lots of pat patterns that has a flat front elastic back Sometimes I do that on my own pants, so it was just great to have one that already have that detail in there. It also has belt carriers and yokes, 
and three pocket variation. It has a pant hems are wide or pegged with back hem dart. Now, the reason why I picked up this pattern is simply because view B, I like view B, what the model is wearing. View G, I wouldn't make those big patch pocket looking pockets for pants. Um, some details are great, but others are not, and that's not one that I would like to do, but I plan on doing view B with this pattern. On the back of the envelope, it says that it's Mrs. Pants. The fabric options you can use is Chino, cotton blends, light and lightweight denims, light linen blends, and twill. The notions that you can use, um, you need, to, of course, your thread. You need one 5 8 inch buttons, one 7 inch zipper. Now, I believe that the zipper is talking about an exposed zipper or a jean zipper. And the reason why I say that is because this is pants. So you wouldn't want to use an invisible zipper for that detail. Also, you would need three fourth yard of one inch wide elastic. And that's for the back, um, for that elastic back in the back. But once again, this is Simplicity 9471. Next one I picked up is Simplicity 9472. This is an easy to sew pattern. According to Simplicity website, it is a pleated or gathered skirt, have waistband, side pocket, side seam pockets and side zipper, and it has length variation and optional side seam slits. So if you see view B, it does have a side uh, seam split, like uh, what the model is wearing as well. Now for me, the reason why I picked it up is because I like view C, it reminds me of the long skirt that I created last year utilizing Butterick 5757. I'll go ahead and put a picture in right here as well. Now the back of the pattern envelope says that it is just Mrs. Skirt. Um, the fabric options you can use for this pattern are uh, Shelly, Charmuse, Cotton Blend, Crepes. You can use Double Georgette, Silky Print as well. And the only notion that you need outside of your thread is one seven inch invisible zipper. So once again, this is Simplicity 9472. The next pattern is Simplicity 9473. Um, this pattern is also, this is the smaller range pattern, but there is another pattern for the woman's size patterns as well. Um, I'll go ahead and put both of those up for you so you can see them side by side of why they reissued the same pattern in a woman's size. And I think it's just basically they want to basically expand sizing for everyone, whether you a, are misses or woman size, which I think is great for them to do that. Now for this pattern, according to the website, it's a V-neck or jewel neckline dress, half flared skirt, optional three fourth length sleeves and self belt. It also have backs, the backs have invisible zippers and back waist dart. Princess seam jacket has shaped hemline and is fully lined. So the jacket is fully lined. So for the back of the envelope, it says that it's a Mrs. Dress and Jacket. Now the fabrics that you can use for this uh, pattern is cotton blend, so that's just your regular cotton, your crepe back satin, your double knit, linen blends, ponte, poplin, satin, and many different fabrics that of your choosing, basically. Um, for the notions, you of course you would need your thread, and for any of the dresses, you would need one 22 inch invisible zipper. And then if you're, you are doing view B, you would definitely need one and three fourths to two inch side buckle. And that's basically the belt uh, for that dress. And then view D, which is the jacket, you would need one package of one half inch extra wide double fold bias tape as well. So those are the notions that you would need in order to create this pattern, which is Simplicity 9473. The next pattern is 9475, which is also released in a woman's size as well. Of course, I picked up the Mrs. Sides, which is the what I need for mine. What's in good is 9475. According to the website, it's a deep sweetheart neckline dress. It has bust cup adjustments and two lengths with options for contrast overlay. And that contrast overlay is what you see in view C. This pattern features gathered waistband and gathered skirt. It has back variations for a deep V opening or a closed back with waist starts as well. Now, the reason why I picked this pattern up is because I love view A. Um, and I just feel like it's a kind of like a milkmaid dress, but it's cute and stylish and you can always take a pattern that you do not 
really pick up because of the model. So that's why I always say do not pick up a pattern based off of what the model is wearing. Pick it up based off of the line art, which is what you see in the back and on the pattern instructions. Now, looking at the back of the pattern, it says that it's a Mrs. Dress. The fabrics that you can use is brocade, cotton blends, crepe, damask, uh, shang tong, jacquard, silky types, double knit, and ponte, just to name a few. Notions you would need would be, of course, your co coordinating thread. And then you would also need a 24 inch zipper, invisible zipper, if you are doing A or B, which is the longer view. If you are doing a shorter view, you just need a 14 inch invisible zipper. But once again, this is Simplicity 9475. And now we come to Simplicity 9479, which is an easy to sew pattern. I picked it up because I love the two piece and this is how you can coordinate your patterns in order to get more things in your um, wardrobe. So basically, I believe it was Martika from Martika J Make. She said how she showed, she did a video on how to maximize your garments by sewing one pattern and using basically every view on that pattern. Um, but this is Simplicity 9479. According to the website, it is a jacket with hidden button placket, front and back waist darts and attached sleeves, the sleeveless knit pull on top with bias tape finish, which is view A. And then you have crop pants and midi skirt with side front pockets and invisible side seam zipper as well. Now, according to the back of the pattern, it just says that it's a Mrs. Sportwear. And there are many fabrics that you can use. The notions that you will need in order to create this is for view A for the top. Of course, you would need a half inch wide single fold bias tape for the armhole section. And then for view B, which is the top or the jacket that they're calling, you need six five inch buttons. For view C and D, which are the pants, you need one seven inch invisible zipper and that zipper is on the side. Once again, this is an easy to sew pattern and this is Simplicity 9479. Next one is 9480. Of course, it's a Mimi G pattern and you guys know it's a jumpsuit. What it is, it's basically a jumpsuit. It has a halter surplus neckline. It has bodice yoke with gathers and satin waistband with elastic and drawstring details. Um, and you guys know that Mimi G also um, does her own sew along or she'll get Brittany or Norris or someone to do it for her as well. But most of the time Mimi does her own sew alongs for her patterns. So just note that it will be a sew along coming for her pattern. Now for me, I plan on doing view a on the pattern. I don't see where the difference is between view A and view B. I really do not see it at all. Um, the only thing that I could say for view A and view B is one has plaid and the other one doesn't, but I'm not sure what the difference between the two options are. Um, but according to the website, it does say that it has an option for your ankle, whereas the other one is mid calf. So view A is at the ankle and view B is at the mid calf. So I think that's the only details. That's the difference between the pattern, but you know, you be the judge, <laughs> be your own judge of what is what it is. But once again, this is simplicity 9480. Next one is 9481. So you guys can imagine why I picked up this pattern because I want um, more things where I have a family, you know, in order to do family photos, my husband always get left out of things that I make for myself as well as my children. So I decided to pick up this pattern to do this fall, um, to make kind of like pullover fleece, uh, fleece pullovers basically for the entire family. So that's what my plan is for this pattern It's simplicity nine, four, eight, one. On the back of the envelope, it just says that it's a unisex top size for children, teens, and adults. And the fabric options you can use is activewear knits, cotton, cotton, nylon, fleece, poplin, and rib stop if you choose to. And then um, for the notions, you need one zipper, which is a seven inch zipper for child or teen. And then you need a nine inch zipper for adult. Of course, you will need your elastic and five eighths yards of one inch wide children elastic. And then for adults, you need seven eighths yards of one and one fourth inch wide 
elastic. Now, the, don't forget that the elastic is basically for the sleeves. So that's where you need your elastic at. And that's, um, I plan on doing mines in fleece for mine. And according to, to Simplicity website, it's a hooded pullover top, has relaxed fit, half the zipper neckline, uh, angled front seaming, back yoke with loop encased and large utility pockets, which is that kangaroo style pocket on the front that you see. And then the second view has options for contrast uh, fabric, which is what you see in view B. So what, but once again, this is Simplicity 9481. All right, so 9494. So this is an easy to sew pattern. Of course, you can see why I picked it up because if you look at a couple of videos back, I talked about my shoulder where I was out of commission for about five days. So view B um, is a great body pillow, which is why I picked it up. And then view E, it could be used as a coat or a hot press as well. Um, and this is by Adaptive. I'm not sure if you heard about Adaptive, but you can look that up, Google it, okay? <laughs> so according to the website, uh, it's a comfort pack, comes in various shapes and sizes and are a household staple, pop in the microwave for heat and into the freezer if you would like for cold relief. So it's basically a hot and cold comp, um, compression pack is what basically is what you're creating. Um, now, in order to do this, what you would do is fill it with rice or flax seed. They contour easily to your body, like the body pillow or the ankle or the knee. Um, you could do many different things with it as well. So it is designed for your knee, your wrist, your ankle, your back, your feet or your chest. And then the chest pillow right here on view A, it has pockets for your uh, hot and cold pack that you could put inside as well. So that's the reason why I picked it up because it can relieve so much pain. Instead of going to buy a hot and cold pack, you could pretty much make your own, pop it in the freezer to get it cold quickly and make so many of these, or you could put it in a microwave and have a uh, heat pad as well. So that's why I picked this up and I do plan on making a few of these for my home. So this is Simplicity 9494. And the last pattern that I picked up is Simplicity 9501. Now, <laughs> This is an easy to sew pattern and I picked it up because I have not taken a road trip since 2019 um, when my family and I drove to Oklahoma City for a convention and we are due for another one pretty soon. <laughs> and um, I like to keep the car clean and organized. That's just what I do. So I figured that I want to do um, view A but because my son does not like the strap on his shoulder, I feel like view B would help him a lot. And then my daughter, because she's forever on tablets um, nowadays, that's the thing for, you know, teens and, you know, adolescents now, they're always on these gadgets all the time, you know, so view C would work perfect for her little feet, okay? So that's why I picked up this pattern 9501. Now, according to Simplicity website, it says keep road trips clutter free with a back seat organizer. Add a little comfort and organization with a front seat cushion with storage pockets. Also, you have a comfy padded seat belt cover and a headrest pillow. Now the child's back seat body cushion provides heat support as well. And it also gives you the dimensions on the website for each, um, each one of these items. Now, some of the fabrics that you can use is twill, denim, home decor fabric, cotton, cotton blends. And then if you do view A, which is that back seat organization, you will definitely need some mesh. So be prepared to get some mesh if you plan on doing the pocket cargo, the cargo pocket looking um, organization. Also, for the pocket interfacing, you need some fleece if, you're doing, if you are doing view A. So don't forget to pick up some fleece. I would just pick up some regular solid color um, and it's basically for your padding as well. But that's um, the backseat organization and this is Simplicity 9501. All right, so there you have it. You just seen my pattern haul for Simplicity early spring 2022. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. So I'll catch you in the next video. And as always, keep sewing.